So guys, before this video starts, I just wanted to quickly mention that I recently started streaming over on Twitch. I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing recently, but I want to experiment with the types of content I stream. So I streamed a mod of Mario Odyssey that was basically just like a boss rush. So that was a lot of fun. But recently I've been doing a lot of Animal Crossing. So if it would mean a lot if you could come join me or just go over and give me a follow. The link will be in the description and I will see you on my next stream, which who knows when that'll be. Hopefully sometime soon, but I don't know if I have time. Okay, bye bye. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, so this video is about how to stream your 3DS screens to your PC wirelessly. So there are a few things you're gonna need to do to get this all set up, but in the end, it's very simple to do. So let's go ahead and get on our computer just to get started. So once you're on your computer, you're gonna wanna go get your 3DS's SD card in here and all you're gonna need to do is download a single CIA file. So put those in there and go to the two websites I have linked down below. So you can download either the first one or the last one. I have the last one installed, so you just install that and just drag and drop it into the CIA's folder on your 3DS. And then go into this, the Snickerstream website, and then download whichever one corresponds with your wi current Windows version. So I have x64, so x64, show in folder, extract it, and go into it. And then you can just launch it. This is what you're going to need to be able to use it on the 3DS, to be able to stream your 3DS wirelessly. There are other ways to do it, but this one I think is the simplest. So now that you have all of this stuff, you can eject your SD card and head back over to your 3ds so let's go do that so now that you're back over on your 3ds you can just take out your sd card and put it back in the 3ds wait for it to boot up and once it does use your stylus that i don't have but i'm using a pen go into fbi so just go to sd cias and download the boot ntr thing install and delete so it saves space uh, but I already downloaded it, so I don't really need to do it. So I'm going to go back to the home menu. Uh, now that you're on your home menu, you're going to go into boot NTR. I already have mine set up. I already have it installed. But once you go into it, you should get a dialog box telling you to choose one of the options. It'll give you an option to just go default. Press default and press 3.6 once you get to it. So once you're done with that, we can move on to getting your IP address and putting it into Snickerstream. So you're gonna wanna head into your Luma menu, which is L, D-pad, down and select. Go to debugger options and choose enable debugger. And then you should get your IP address for your 3DS. Go over to Snickerstream, put that IP address in and it should work on your 3DS. So put your IP address into Snickerstream, press allow access on the Windows firewall button, and you should see your 3DS screen flash and then see the game pop up in your 3 on in Snickerstream. So now you've just got it finished. So everything should be set up now. Just know that this doesn't transfer audio at all. So you're going to need an audio cable to do that. But that's really it so thanks for watching i'll see you next time and yeah that's basically it follow me on twitch and that's it goodbye